Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. We are about to watch a video of the worst right to travel sovereign citizen I have ever seen. And what I mean by worst is that this guy, right before his interaction with the police, talks a really tough game on his cell phone. And then during his interaction with the police, he follows through with almost none of it. He follows through with almost none of it. So watch the video, stick around afterwards. I do about a five minute commentary. Now, before we begin, everyone raise your cup in the air. Cheers, Danka, salute. It tastes better when we sip together. Let's do the same time sip. Have a sip with me. And just so you know, I am drinking this coffee right here, Black Rifle Coffee, veteran owned, tastes delicious, and you can buy it in a link in my description below. So go ahead, give that a click, try some of this coffee. Okay, let's watch this video. Well, I'm just driving through downtown Ben to go get a Darien from her dentist right now. And I was going through the school zone and I just got out of the school zone and I hit the gas and I got up to about 27 miles an hour and a cop got behind me and he pulls me over. So I just got pulled over. Those of you that know me know that I don't have a driver's license. I've never had a driver's license. I have my kid with me. so. I just get pulled over, he asks me for my driver's license and my insurance. I tell him that I am traveling as an American in the United States. It is my right to drive in America without a driver's license because it's a human right. And I told him that I am not driving for commerce right now. So I do not have to present a driver's license and I do not have to have a driver's license to transport myself as an American anywhere through the United States. That is my right as an American. And he says, no, you need your driver's license to transport yourself anywhere. So he has my ID right now and he is back there running my information. So we'll see what happens when he comes back. I told him that he does not know his rights if he thinks that I have to have a driver's license when I am not out here driving for commerce, when I'm not getting paid. So I guess we'll see what happens here. He doesn't know his laws, obviously. He needs to read up on them. But we'll see what happens when he talks to his sergeant, and we'll see what happens right now, if they're going to let me go or not, or if they're going to try to press these issues and get sued, because I will sue them. But yes, let's see what happens, my friends and family. YouTube world, this is going to be a cool YouTube video, I guess. If they don't mess with me and they let me go. But yeah, practice your rights, my friends. Family, everybody out there, practice your rights. If you're an American, you have rights, practice them. Driving is a human right. It is not a privilege, it's a human right. So those of you that know your laws and you don't have a driver's license, you can drive. Just make sure you have insurance and you have, you know, and you have your rights and uh, you practice your rights and you have a camera and you record everything. But yeah, like I said, we're going to see what's going to happen right now. So, I think that's, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's the... Hey, man, I got to shake your hand for saying that because yeah. I try to tell people that and all don't the do time. Anything that's going to put somebody else in danger. Yeah, exactly. And people need to listen to their intuition. And uh, yeah, that's a good thing nowadays. There's so many, uh, there's so many gadgets and things that that throw people off, you know, and that you know, like phones and stuff. There's just so much. All right, Rick, I'm cutting you some breaks here. Uh, I'm not letting you for driving while suspended. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm not letting you for driving while suspended in the school zone. So your license is suspended, so... Yeah, uh, I'm fighting. I'm if, fighting. I, if I wrote you for the school zone, it's, it doubles the citation, so it'll be over $800. So I'm not ready for that. I'm going to give you a warning on your speed today if your registration's expired, okay? So oh. tell your 
tell your girlfriend to get a registration review, okay? Oh, yeah. It, it expires about, about 10 minutes ago. Okay. So your court date is 3-1-2018 at 10 a.m. at 555 Northeast 15th Street. Okay. Your option on how to take care of citations listed on the bottom, okay? Okay. Any questions about that? No, thank you, sir. Give me a favor and slow down the school zone, okay? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Good day. Good day. See my friends and family. All you have to do is know your laws, know your rights, and defend your rights, my brothers and sisters. It's our time. We are Americans, and we can drive anywhere in America without having a driver's license. Unless you are driving for commerce. But I'm driving now, so see you later. Boy, is this guy a piece of work. I don't even know where to begin. I'm going to try to begin at the beginning. First of all, he gets pulled over for speeding in a child school zone. Um, as most of you know, if you're uh, normal law-abiding citizens, in a school zone, you have to slow down. There are signs everywhere. The speed limit will generally be about 10, 5, 10 to 15 miles per hour uh, lesser than what it normally would be on that road. This guy was doing 27. He was probably supposed to be going about 15. He gets pulled over and he starts recording himself in his car because he's going to have an encounter with the police. And he starts talking about the right to travel coming off his... Uh, as a re really uh, brave sort of uh, tough guy here, um, first he says he's traveling as an American, uh, as though the fact that he's an American should make a difference. Listen, listen, sir. Um, it's important to like you know I I'm I'm I consider myself a patriot. I love the United States. I served in the military. Okay, um, whether you're an American, a foreigner. Uh, you're from Canada, you're from Europe, you're from Africa. If you're here in the United States, you need an American driver's license to drive, period. doesn't matter who you are or where you're from, okay? You don't have special rights in America to drive, all right? Uh, he goes on to say that the right to drive is a human right. Now, th he's just... This is just babbling nonsense, probably taken off the internet or YouTube from the, the common sovereign citizen channels and content. Listen, uh, driving is not a human right. That's the most absurd thing I have ever heard. You, now, again, there is, there is an argument to be made for walking, for walking, Walking is a human right. Traveling somewhere on foot as a human right, as long as it's safe. Um, yeah, th there's, a, there's actually an argument probably to be made there. I don't believe it's been litigated. Nobody walks that far. Um, but driving is not a human right. When you are driving, you are taking a two... A ton, massive steel and metal out into public. Okay, it's dang it can be very dangerous. There are rules that regulate it because not only could you hurt and kill yourself, you could hurt and kill other people or other people's property. I can't even handle it right now. Uh, he talks about transporting, transporting, da 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 da. He says he's not out for commerce. Again, they're referencing a 19th century opinion that had to do with a horse and buggy. Listen, sir, it's no longer good law. It does not apply. Even if the Supreme Court wrote it, the Supreme Court wrote a lot of stuff 200 years ago that no longer applies. He says the officer doesn't know his laws. Clearly, I mean, talk about the kettle calling the pot black. I mean, or the pot calling the kettle black. I just did a Joe Biden there. Um, listen. <laughs> You don't know your laws. You're telling the officers they don't know their laws. You don't. You have fake laws. You are relying on fake laws. Your laws are fake. I'm sorry. Uh, he gives the advice that you should practice your rights and know what they are. Yes, you should know your real rights, not these fake rights that you got off of YouTube. 
So then we see some of the transaction. He's talking with the officer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems like some a really nice cop and a really nice officer. Notice that he's already out of his vehicle. He didn't show us the interaction between him and the officer while he was still in his vehicle. Um... The officer says they're cutting him a break. He's not citing him for driving on a suspended or, or I'm sorry. He says that his license is suspended. And he says he's not citing him for for speeding in a school zone as the penalties double. That's all true, and that's true in Pennsylvania, other states as well. He's still citing him for driving on a suspended license. Um, then he gets back in the car. Okay, and he starts talking like he just won some sort of victory. Now, he did mention before he was going to fight the ticket in court. Good, that's the right thing to do. Most of these sovereigns don't understand that, okay? Um, you're you're going to lose, but go ahead and fight it. Um, he says, he, he you know, he gets back in his car, and he talks about, like, this is a victory, and all you need to do is know your rights, etc., etc. No. All you need to do is listen to the police, get out of your vehicle, take your ticket, and go home, which is exactly what you did. You won nothing. You got cited. Okay? You are not emerging victorious. Your video didn't make a difference. And your right to travel, which you only talked about with us, I don't even know if you brought it up with the cops, okay, uh, didn't do a dang thing for you. You followed the law, which is what you follow. I'm sorry, you didn't follow the law, you were speeding, but you followed procedure correctly. You got out of the vehicle, okay? Uh, if, if you really went all right to travel, your window would have been smashed and this video would have been about you in handcuffs, but it wasn't. Um, this is exactly the kind of false nonsense that the right to travel and the sovereign citizens are spitting out there, making this interaction look like a victory. No, the cop cut you a break. You followed the rules. Listen, sovereign citizens watching this video, do what he did. Follow the rules. Listen to the police. Take your ticket and go home. I, I, oh, I can't even handle it. I can't even handle it. I mean, just ridiculous. Oh, and are you going to follow up and sue them? I'll wait for the video. I'll wait for the video. Let me tell you something. The lawsuit ain't coming because there isn't one. You were speeding in a school zone. Okay, everyone, thank you for uh, tuning in to this episode of Common Sense Academy. Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. Cheers. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 10,000. I've been picking up a lot of subscribers. Most of you who watch aren't subscribed, so go ahead and subscribe. Get me to 10,000. YouTube will give me new features. Thank you.